Hey, how you doing there, gun folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, hey folks, I'm playing a video series of videos I've been doing for the one. I go over there, try food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm gonna talk about stuff. Excuse me. I'm gonna let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff. The height of professionalism, folks. The height of professionalism. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to let you know all you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I'm gassy and full of delicious meats and, and and pineapple soda. Go watch my pineapple soda specials. They're, they're good. You know, by my standards, anyway. But anyway, um, I'm inside my truck, clearly. I also have my air conditioning on. I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit. Um, hopefully that doesn't become too abrasive for y'all. It, it's getting warmer can't really get it. I like I can try to go over there and deal with it but then you got to deal with me patting myself down and like just sweating like a pig it's not good for anybody it's not good for me it's not good for you it's not good for the universe so but I keep it low so hopefully it's not too bothersome anyway whilst I'm inside my truck feeling hot I'm doing something else I'm wearing a super cool shirt folks when I wear super cool shirts I like to highlight the super cool shirt Super cool shirt I'm wearing today. Boom! It's my Yu Yu Hakusho shirt. Well, with the Yusuke and the Cool Bar, the Kurama, and the Hiei. He's little. If you are not familiar with Yu Yu Hakusho, um, it is an anime from, I believe, the, the very early 90s. Uh, it gained some prominence in sort of the latish 90s with sort of the big, like, anime boom in America. And that's really when you saw, like, Dragon Ball Z start coming up, and, you know, you had, like, the Gundam series and stuff, and, you know, like, Cowboy Bebop. This show was featured on Adult Swim on Cartoon Network, eventually made its way to Toonami, uh, you know, and it, it gained a little bit of a run for itself. It, it never hit the heights, you know, that your Dragon Balls did and such, but for me, I instantly connected with it. Um, I couldn't, like, to this day, I couldn't tell you exactly what did it, but I remember going over there, watching one of the episodes, and just something clicked in my head, and I was like, this is one of my favorite animes of all time, I need to watch all of it. Uh, and, and admittedly, the last arc is not the best, but, you know, it's, it's so good otherwise, I don't give a damn. But anyway, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, I just got through reviewing a thing from a local spot called, or called Tacos Puebla. And the time I did, it's all wrapped up now, but boom! It's a torta, which if you're not familiar with tortas, they're like Mexican sandwiches, and they're super neat and nifty and stuff. And uh, so I just got through reviewing the Cubano torta, but they have an entire run of specialty tortas, and I just, I had to get this one, folks, because, because... This, folks, even though it doesn't have a thing, boom! This is their Hawaiiana Torta, which, I wrote it down, is uh, salchicha, yeah, I apologize, jamon and peanut, which translates to hot dog, ham, and pineapple. You gotta love anything where one of the ingredients is fucking hot dog. That's amazing! Uh, it also comes with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, avocado, mayo, beans, mozzarella, and American cheese. I love this place. Uh, it is one of the spots that is local to where I'm at that I would love to hit up more often, but just, you know, I, ah, and I hate it too, because it's like, there is, it's just the convenience of just doing fast food and stuff like that, you know, just tends to win out. But man, but anyway, I had to get this, folks. Why? Because it's pineapple, and who loves pineapple? Brandon Wenzel loves pineapple. So, let's take a look at this glorious, glorious beast. Fucking look at that, man. That is a sandwich. That is a, that is a Brandon-sized sandwich right there. That's what the fuck that is. So... Go over there. Let's get, let's get a thing. Okay, 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 okay. Try to not get it completely all over myself in the process. My my lovely Yu Yu Hakusho shirt from Walmart that I love very much. 
Open! Open for Brandon! There. Okay, sandwich! Avocado is fantastic. As is the hot dog. It has to be like grilled or something like that. Because it's... You're getting more flavor off of it. Oh, man. There it is. There's the pineapple. And I love, too... I didn't really mention this in my previous review. I love the list of like all the stuff that just immediately comes with it because like they asked me like you know do you want everything on it and um, yes absolutely yes like even though like i'm not a huge onion guy but you got onions with all of this it's excellent because even though it's a strong flavor it's not going over there and you know kind of punching above its weight class and knocking better flavors out of position it's just accentuating the whole thing. And there's so many flavors going on with it that it's just, it's wonderful and amazing and wonderful. I like that, uh, I love the fact that you got the ham and the pineapple. I mean, that's a classic mix. That just universally works. Plus, you've got jalapeno in there, which is a phenomenal combination. One of my favorite pizzas of all time. You can suck my ass if you don't care or if you're disapproving. I love pineapple on pizza. But you don't just get pineapple on pizza. You pair it with things that it's going to work with. One of my favorite pairings, which really I need to get sometime in the not too distant future because it's been too long now you get pineapple you get jalapeno you get bacon and you get beef that way you get like all the flavors in every bite and it's wonderful so with this you've got the delicious hot dog taste which is just a hot dog delicious hot dog taste you've got all the freshness of all the other ingredients the creaminess of the cheese and then you've got the delicious sweetness of the pineapple to just cut through everything and it gives it, like, it's a very heavy sandwich, obviously. There's a lot going on. But, like, the avocado and the the pineapple, they kind of lighten it up a little, bit, a little bit. They give it, like, a freshness. So it doesn't taste as heavy. I just, I love that, man. That's... Because it does so many things that I love. Like, you know, pineapple is pineapple. So, I'm immediately going to love that. But, it has so much more going on than that, you know. It's got all these different textures. It's got all these different flavors. And it's a lot. But it's not overwhelming. It's not overly heavy. And it's just, like, compared to the Cubano, which is fantastic sandwich too the cubano felt more decadent you know it felt <laughs> it felt like a hospital visit you know it's like yeah, you're gonna you're gonna need to talk to your doctor after you eat this with the hawaiiana it's still it's still decadent but it doesn't feel like it's trying to hurt you the same way you know it feels like it's like you know what yes i am a ridiculous sandwich that probably 
no sensible adult should eat for health reasons. But I'm also delicious. I'm something that you can sit down and have in one go. You know, I mean, you, know, you got quite the appetite. But man, man, that's good. Um, two questions have to be asked. Would I eat it again? Would I recommend it? Yes and fuck yes, I would. Out of the two, which do I prefer? Both are similar, but both do different things for me. I would love to have both at any given point in time, but I have to give it to the Hawaiiana for my personal, you know, just my personal taste, because fucking pineapple. I'm a pineapple slut, I, I admit it. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely get it again, man. It's just it's pineapple on a Mexican sandwich with hot dogs and ham. That wins for me. As for recommending it, I would recommend it, but obviously, you know, you gotta kinda, <laughs> you have to have something of a similar palate to mine. Like I said, pineapple and ham, that works. That's just a thing. But, you know, not everybody's into sweet and savory combinations, so, you know, take it for what you will. Anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your and folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly pineapple tastic rest of your life because folks pineapple is just amazing and i just i will never stop singing its praises you can't make me final two things number one try to bring some positivity in the world it's not always possible it is however i always appreciate it but what you do if you can't do it all the time i know i can't do it all the time here's what you're gonna do folks you're gonna try not to be an asshole now folks it's not always easy to do that we can't just go over there and live our lives every day with delicious pineapple infused sandwiches i mean you know you might be able to but Again, you know, at a certain point, you might need to start thinking about your health a little bit more. I'm just saying. As I say that to myself. Uh, it's important, when, even when we don't have those delicious pineapple sandwiches available to us, we go over there. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholesness in our lives. Hopefully we do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, and maybe you're going to try yourself out a Hawaiian-style sandwich, right? Well, you know, and it's going to have pineapple and ham and maybe hot dogs or spam. And then you go over there, and apparently you write a Dr. Seuss book based off of that. I mean, I fucking pulled that out of my butt in two seconds, so there you go. I'm sure you, with some creativity and a little bit of time and effort, you can pull that out. So, I mean, you can't call yourself Dr. Seuss. That's been done. But you could be like Dr. Spruce. You know, you could be the... Uh, the mockbuster fucking Dr. Seuss. How has that not been a thing yet? Oh, I might have just found a career path for myself. I bet I could go over there and rhyme some shit together. There we go. No more sampler platter videos. Just just uh, shitty fucking rehashes of uh, Dr. Seuss uh, rhymes. Or conversely, I mean, you know, go read the Lorax, man. I like the Lorax. Lorax is like my favorite of the Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Seuss books. It's all about environmentalism and commercialism and, you know, it's, it's, it's got a good message. Bye!